Okay. Oh my gosh, I hit 11 months. I think it was yesterday. So I've officially been on my mission for almost a year. 11 months now. It's pretty crazy to think about that and how far I've come, how much I've learned, and just the time. It's really weird. Like, it feels like a few weeks ago that I was in UTC or with my trainer, or, you know, learning the basics of everything, but now I'm almost a year in. It's pretty crazy. So, things here in Century have gone well so far. I'm not sick anymore, thank goodness. And we've been able to have a lot of really good lessons. Lately, we've been focusing on our recent converts. We have like almost 30 within the last year, which is crazy. And what we're doing is we have these books that kind of talk and teach about families and temples, about like family history and how you can prepare to go to the temple. So we've been teaching almost all of them about that and preparing them to go to the temple to receive, you know, they can do their baptisms for the dead, for their ancestors, to learn about more ordinances that can be done inside the temple. So we're doing that a lot and having a lot of lessons just with the Book of Mormon. We're simply just reading a chapter from the Book of Mormon with them. And it's some of my favorite lessons. Just because they learn something, they ask questions, and then we're all edified and we learn something too. Which I really like. And this past Sunday we had two baptisms um, on the same day. And thankfully, our font had water. We didn't have to go to Pong and do an emergency baptism like we did a few weeks ago. But it was Florence, and she's like an old lady, like 75, and then um, Doris, she's like 23. It's a <coughs> grandmother and granddaughter relationship. They both got baptized, and it was awesome. Hopefully the confirmation will go well. But we had the HXP group with us at our branch when that baptism was happening, which was really fun. That group is the same group that my dad and my sister did a few weeks ago. And, and basically, they're just building the same school my dad built with my sister. But now it's a different group and they're in Senshi. So they've been, they've been here for a few weeks now and they came to church with us last week and this week and we've had a few activities in between. So it's been really cool to hang out with some Americans and, you know, kind of have some fun, learn a lot. We've gone on splits, gone on an exchange with them each Sunday, go and visit members, teach a few lessons, really help them, the youth who are involved, get a little bit of a taste of what it's like to be a missionary. It's pretty cool. I've had a really good time with them. There's a lot of cool people, and I feel honored that I was able to spend time with them. So yeah, they were they were there at the baptism. And even this, tomorrow I'm gonna go to the dedication of their building, which they built. Which my dad and sister built that building too, so it'll be kind of a cool experience for me. So I'm excited for that. And, oh man, this area is really pretty. There's a lot of cool things, and lots of pretty views. I get to go up in the mountains all the time, down by the river, to the lake. And it's really cool. It's definitely a lot more fruitful and eventful than Hoboy. Hoboy was a tough place for a long time, but this place is going well. I really enjoy my time here. My companion and me are super tight. We are really similar, and I really love him. So things are looking good here. And <coughs> lately, I've been studying a little bit out of the New Testament because July 31st, I finished the Book of Mormon again. So that's my second time ever reading it. Finished it. Amazing. Loved it. I 
learned so much. I highlighted a bunch this time reading it. And now I'm kind of reading the New Testament. I'm still in like Matthew chapter 15, I think. But I've never read the New Testament before, and I've read sections of it from studying groups or from church or something, but I've never read the whole thing, so I'm going to try and read some of it and try and learn a little bit more about the parables Jesus Christ gives, more about the character of Christ, the apostles, learn more about the original church that was founded when Christ was on the earth. And so I'm really excited about that. I've already learned a lot more about how Jesus Christ's parables can really affect us and how they can influence how we live. So that's what I've been studying lately, and it's really cool. I really love, especially in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, how it's comparable to 35, chapter 12, 13, and 14, I believe. It's awesome how they're so similar and how they kind of work together. It's, it's cool. So, yeah, I think that's about it. As of right now, my parents are on a, they got back from um, Ghana a couple weeks ago and now they're going to Mexico. They're actually driving to Mexico probably right now. <laughs> so that'll be fun. And I hope they have a good time. They'll, they'll enjoy it. So this is my last interview for my year mark. It's pretty crazy. But I'm grateful for how far I've come. I've seen a lot of progress and growth in my life right now. So let's keep it up and get to work.